In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create six options timeline slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see here, I've created a zigzag path. And when I click, the first option comes, the option number one with the shadow effect and with a gradient fill. You can add the icon, the year and the detailed text. When I click, it will show you the next year. Okay, the year 2000 with different color format. Then the third, fourth fifth and sixth if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section and i have used office 2019 version to do this however if you're using the older version this is also possible so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to view enable the guides and the grid lines then go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to select the freeform shape so here at this point i'm just clicking it here you can see here and then the first available here the closest one i'm just going to click it here then i'm going to click the second one then here i'm going to click the third the fourth you can see here fifth sixth and then you can just click it here double click all right now right mouse click go to format shape and i'm going to increase the width to maybe 40 so it looks something like this all right and the color i'm going to change it to white so nothing is visible so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select the background and i'm going to give some light color here you can see here whichever color which you feel this light or somewhat lighter all right then select this line then go to the effects then i'm just going to you can see here 3d rotation just go to the 3d rotation go to presets from the perspective i'm going to choose this one which is the perspective relaxed just click it like this nothing happens much difference then go to the 3d format and i'm going to give the depth so you can see here i started giving the depth depth depending on your requirement you can give 60 70 80 90 whatever but still nothing is visible so then what you have to do is go to the lighting and select this one which is the two point so it looks something like this all right and this one let it be like this now if you want you can just zoom in zoom out a little bit and you can increase the size you can see here then if the design is not perfect what you can do is right mouse click edit points and then you can adjust it so you can see here i can just reduce a little bit here i can increase it further here like this you can do so you can see here this is the design now let me just fit to the slide then go to view remove this guidelines and the grid lines all right now again if you want to do some changes again you can right mouse click and edit the points but let it be like this then i'm going to add the uh, the oval shape and before that let me just correct this one this is too narrow here uh, this is look this looks good so now let me just go to insert shapes and select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key all right and place it here shape outline make it no outline so the height and width i'm making as 0.7 and then you can give a gradient fill also any color of your choice two colors you can choose or if you want you can choose multiple colors also then i'm going to duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d all right ctrl d one goes here later on we'll align it properly you can see here if you want you can add five six seven depending on your requirement okay now this one i'm going to make the height and width as 0.8 i'm just keep on increasing this one and this will be 0.9 this will be one this is 1.1 and this will be 1.2 all right so let's place this here, here, just align it properly. 
okay now let's add some shadow effect also to add the shadow effect go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape maybe this much size shape outline no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency go to the effects go to the soft edges increase the softness you can see here and then i'm just going to place it here maybe i can reduce the size a little bit press ctrl d one will go here the other will go here so on top of each on the bottom of each oval shape or the sphere i'm just going to add this shadow effect here all right then select all the spheres by holding the shift key then bring this to front all right now depending on your requirement you can change any color for example i'm going to change to a dark purple and here i'm going to change to a light purple color all right so you can see here this one maybe some dark orange and some light orange color all right then here I can choose some dark blue and light blue combination. All right. So like this, you can just uh, give different colors. Now, once this is done, you can give the option number here. Okay. Make it one. Center align. Make the font white. I'm going to change the font to open sans. Make it big okay press ctrl d to duplicate add it here ctrl d you can keep on adding this one okay and then you can increase the font size also just duplicate and add it here all right so now depending on the requirement i can just increase the size so maybe this could be 18 this is 20 this will be 22 or 24 you can see here you can just add increase the size all right so this also i'll make it 28 and then this is one two three four five and six if you're using the latest version of powerpoint you can insert the icons also if not you can just add some text here so i'm just saying for example 1995 again the font is open sans all right make it bold you can give some dark color dark gray and then you can add detailed text all right so this also the same color reduce the size to maybe 16 all right then both of these press ctrl d to duplicate add it here this one will go here ctrl d now this time we have to make it right align go to format align right all right so for this this is for the option four and this is for the option six now 1995 maybe 2000 this could be 2005 2010 this could be like 2016 this could be 2021 all right so you can see here like this you can create your own timelines and if required you can add some basic animation effect to it.